My name is Cardis Madavi. I am currently the Acting Dean of the Joseph Corbell School of International Studies. I'm an anthropologist by training and I work on gender, sexuality, health and human rights. I was studying international affairs, diplomacy and world affairs and felt at a certain point that it wasn't interdisciplinary enough and I wanted to look at this question of sexual politics in the Middle East and the way to do that for me was to study medical anthropology of all things um, and so I was at Columbia and I had the very good fortune of meeting a woman named Carol Vance and taking a course on sexuality, health and human rights and that sort of changed my life trajectory. I finished my PhD in medical anthropology at Columbia uh, and then I went to Pomona College where I taught anthropology and gender and women's studies for 11 years. Started to find my way into administration but have never given up my love for understanding really the roots uh, and branches of sexual politics. I think the biggest challenge facing global health right now are the factions and the silos that people are getting into as people identify with focusing on one aspect like maternal mortality or sexual and reproductive rights and health or migration. I think that we need to come together across disciplines and across areas of specialty because global health issues, they don't know disciplinary borders, they don't know state borders. These are transnational, transdisciplinary issues and I think we all need to come together to solve them. My small part of that has been to be in academia, in um, administrative capacities where I can build bridges between different disciplines, different people, and then build bridges between academia and the community. That's my small contribution. I'm pretty proud of building some interdisciplinary certificates and degree programs at the, at the University of Denver. So we've built joint degrees with the law school, with the School of Social Work, and even with the business school. And I'm proud of being able to expose students to different perspectives in solving some of the world's most pressing problems. I think the best thing for students to do is to get a really deep understanding of the layers of problems, but also to be really reflexive about your own position, right? And not reproducing problematic um, power structures. One of the things that happens so often in global health work around the world is people don't do that work, that internal work of being reflexive and understanding what is your position coming in from the outside into a community. Um, you need to be reflexive if you want to not do more harm than good. You need to be reflexive in how you approach these issues. So I think the three main takeaways that I would want people to get Number one, there is a feminism reboot happening across the world where feminism and sexual politics are undergirding a lot of the social movements that we see today like hashtag me too, hashtag times up, hashtag enough. The second main takeaway I want people to think about is the fact that a lot of these movements have actually started in the global south. But this feminism reboot has been going on since the 2000s with a lot of organizing in countries such as Iran, India, Uganda, and Chile. And finally, I think I would want people to think about how movements for sexual rights have actually undergirded transformational social movements and to think about sharing strategies of success and failure across borders. Thanks for having me.